you guys got any questions for them. I know they're still trying to catch their breaths here. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Coach, you're two AA state champions. What do you have to say about that? I know it sounded good coming out your mouth. <laughs> I mean, man, I don't think you know how hard I've been working this bunch to get to this point. Um, I knew we could get here. I just didn't know how hard it would be. Yeah. The journey getting here is, is sweet, but it's, it's just not easy to get here, and it's a blessing to be able to say we won the state championship, and the way we did, down to the last play of the game. Well, we actually, um, I thought they got off the ball early in the drive, but I just kept telling our guys, just relax and play. I, I, I didn't necessarily worry about you know, them running the ball at us, and, and I felt like we could stop the run enough. But I just didn't think we played well, excuse me, defensively or offensively on, uh, in the first quarter at all, for whatever the reason. We just didn't stop the run. And uh, two things we try to do is better run the ball and to be able to stop the run. So, you know, we start to make some adjustments right away and actually on both sides of the ball. And, uh, just got to keep plugging at it and plugging at it until, you know, we, we got the wins. Well, how big was that? I think I scored. Uh, going into halftime, right? We did. Uh -huh. How big was that to, to get on the board and get things going in the right direction? Well, if you look at our first quarter, I mean, we probably played outside of this first quarter and first half at Northside, we probably played the worst, the worst we played in the first quarter all season. And, you know, I can't take that away from now. It's not rocket science. They played pretty good defense. They had a good plan. You know, I, you know, the coaches, we immediately had to go and start making some adjustments in our blocking scheme and, uh, you know, just tell our kids to settle down and just keep doing what guys this far, you know, don't panic. You know, and I felt like eventually we at least get something going, mm -hmm. and we did. We scored right there for the half. I would have loved to have gotten the two points to kind of, it wouldn't have put us in such a rush-rush situation, you know, and I felt like we was, we was pacing. And we was kind of rushing everything too much instead of just kind of relaxing. And eventually we did in the second half. I thought we got control of the game. And then we got the block punt and just seen the swing momentum just huge right there in the fourth quarter. So. Coach, uh, Lamar and uh, Markel really carried the team tonight. Um, it's, it's been like that for you know, pretty much the whole season tonight. <laughs> it wasn't really much different. Um, we just talked about the, those two guys and, and their season they have. And then you know, to wrap it up here tonight, well, I mean, to be really honest with you, they, they just straw the stir the drinks for us on offense. They, they're good football players, and they're good people. They're good kids, you know. I told our game plan was to run the ball, play good defense, and play action off the uh, pass game. And we, we, have, we didn't deviate away from that. And it's not always pretty, but I felt like if we just stayed with that plan, that we could eventually get some big plays. And we did. We ran the ball decent. Not bad, not great, but we ran it decent enough. And, you know, I thought right there at the end we ran the pass. I think the guy ran the wrong route. I just knew we threw it, and I seen him catch it, and my first impulse was to look, you know, to see if there was any flags. And we didn't. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, they, they've been pretty much the kid that made it happen for us the entire season. So. Markwell, first, how does it feel? I mean, y'all have been working really since the end of last season to get to this point. What is it, what is it like? It's, it's the best feeling ever. You know, we just came this far in the own hard work we have been doing, and now we made it. It's it probably the end of the year with, with this lane, so I'm going to be excited. But what is, what is it like for you, um, MVP of this game? Um, I mean, that's, that's really something special. What is that like for you? It's a good feeling, you know, just to, you know, be able to win that award, period, and, you know, just to be able to carry the team and just, you know, come out with the win. Mm -hmm. well, like, like Coach said, I mean, the, the running game was, was kind of um, hit and miss at times, but it, it really is what kind of carried y'all throughout this game. What was it that you were seeing in the running game, or uh, as a team, what were y'all doing in the running game to kind of keep things keep things going? We had to, you know, we had to adjust and, and, and 
try different things, you know. Uh -huh. Sometimes this will work and sometimes this will work. You know? when, we, when we hit it, we hit it. Uh -huh. And try to score off of it. Well, Lamar, um, first of all, what, what is it like for you? Um, <coughs> I mean, to, to be a leader on the scene, you got to see throughout the year and finish it up here as a state champion. It feels great. Um, so we get a lot of glory to God and my teammates and my coaches. Uh, we worked so hard in the offseason, behind the scenes, but no cameras was there. Um, we put in so much work, Coach McCoy pushed us, so he couldn't push us anymore. And when he couldn't push us, he keeps still pushing us. I just want to thank him. And uh, it just feels so great just to be a part of this team, like my brothers. Everybody's like my brothers. And I, I just feel so good going on my senior year, the state championship. Man, it's going to be, it's going to be. It's, we, we made history tonight. It, just, it feels great. Well, what did you see? I know I talked to Carlos. He said you told him just to just to get open. Uh, <laughs> um, can you kind of walk me through that play? Um, what was kind of the look there? You know, were y'all uh, at least hoping to set up? And maybe maybe it worked out the way y'all planned. Maybe it didn't. So. <laughs> well, we knew um, the free safety was going to key in on Justin Lee number eighteen. Uh -huh. And so I knew Carlos gave the man a good out and up. It was going to be perfect, and he did. And the cornerback stumbled, and my eyes opened really big. And I threw the ball, and Carlos caught it. I dropped to my knees because it was just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad he caught the ball. Glad my old line blocked me well. The running backs blocked me well. I just give all the credit to them because without them, we wouldn't be sitting in this room right now. Without the officer in mind, we wouldn't be sitting in this room right now. So I just want to thank them, my running backs, and my wide receivers, my coaches, my teammates. Mm -hmm. So was it something that y'all kind of drew up there before the play? That's a play, but really uh -huh. Carlos doesn't play wide receiver gotcha. in the games. He just plays it in practice. He's really an outstanding defensive back. Yeah, yeah. And we knew that they were going to key on Justin. And so we told Carlos to come in, and he looked kind of nervous. But I said, you're going to catch the ball. And he caught the ball. And he started crying. It was just a great feeling. <laughs> well, guys, what, what do you think it's been that has um, gotten y'all to this point? To win a state championship, what, what kinds of things have y'all done? Hard work. Uh -huh. work. Yeah, we worked in rain, snow, all kinds of weather. We always outside working hard. We only practiced inside one time this whole year. Uh -huh. It was snowing outside. That's 20 degrees, 15 degrees. Come so I said, Nah, we going outside. We going outside. <laughs> so we was outside. I couldn't feel my hands. That's last year he fussed me out. He said, Get the snap. Get the snap. I said, Coach, I can't feel my hands. I don't care, get a snap. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, oh, I just thank Coach McCoy. He, he, he's the best coach I ever had. Like, it, it just feels amazing that he believed in me this much. Total ball. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. So I know we're going to get in with that team and celebrate with the rest of the team. Um, I know I've been harping on it for the last couple weeks, but after last season, the way that that ended, how sweet is it to, to be at this point be here now? It's real sweet, real sweet. <laughs> yeah, best thing ever. People was down there. They didn't think we could do it after we lost to Solidberry last year. And um, only people that thought we could do it was us. It's us. We just feel great. Um, defense played a hell of a game tonight. We played outstanding tonight. We kept them from scoring a lot of points. And it was a defensive game. We were in the offense game. We usually, during the regular season, we averaged 50 points a game. We only scored 18. So, I mean, it was a defensive game. Uh, Pitt Price and Monroe, they were a great defense, great offense, great team, period. But it's just something about the Red Raiders. We're just a family. We just can't be beat. It feels good. We stay champs, man. We stay champs.